Are you interested in solar power for your RV? But getting those rooftop arrays and installing big inverters and battery management systems and lithium batteries just seems too complicated and frankly way too expensive. Well today we're talking portable solar power on Miles and Smiles. Over the years, Kathy and I have discovered that some of the very best campsites available are not in campgrounds. They are on public land from the federal government or different states, and the one thing that they have is beauty and seclusion, but what they don't have is hookups. No electric, no water, no sewer. Now, we've got plenty of capacity for water and storing liquid wastes on our RV. That's not a problem. but. Our two batteries really only have enough power in them for us to go one, two days without having to recharge. There are different ways we could do that. We could recharge the batteries with our generator, but the generator's kind of loud. And it also burns two gallons of gas an hour, and that cost can add up pretty fast. So if it takes five hours to recharge the batteries, that's 10 gallons of gas. So how can we recharge our batteries so that we can camp for more than two days without hookups? Well, what a lot of people are doing is going solar. And the ideal situation is to be able to put a full solar system on the RV. That includes hundreds and hundreds of watts of solar panels on the roof of the RV, an inverter that allows you to convert that solar power from DC to AC so you can plug in any and every appliance. You can run it all, even a residential refrigerator. And of course, to do that, you have to have lots and lots of battery capacity. All of that adds up pretty quick. The minimum cost that I found for a decent rooftop solar system is $5,000. Most of that's the cost of batteries. Lithium ion batteries, the best kind, can cost up to $1,000 each. Can you believe it? Well, we don't want to spend the kind of money it would cost to put a full solar setup onto our older coach. And frankly, we don't feel like we need all of that solar power. Our goal is not to be able to stay off the grid for weeks or months at a time. Our goal is simply to extend the time between when we have to run the generator to recharge the batteries. And to do that, our solution is portable solar power. Here's why we chose the 200 watt Red Energy Solar Suitcase. First of all, we think it provides all the power that we're going to need. Now, you can look in the blog uh, that we'll give the address to below, and I've got all of the math to, to support this, but probably don't want to go into that here. But we believe that with 200 watts of solar power, it will provide enough energy for us to go anywhere between three days and an infinite number of days before we have to run the generator to top off the batteries. It all depends on a couple of factors. The weather. Is there enough sunshine to get the full benefit out of the solar panels? And the weather. Is it cold enough that we need to run our furnace all night, which burns up a lot of electricity? Is it hot enough that we need to run a fan all day? That burns up electricity. But all in all, we think that with the solar suitcase, we'll be able to extend our time between running the generator from anywhere between three days to never having to use it at all. Second reason why we chose the portable solar suitcase is that it's genuinely plug and play. All we have to do is take the panels out of their carrying case unfold them and point them toward the sun, plug a cord into the back of the panels, and clip them to our batteries, and that is it. The third reason really builds off of the plug and play idea. These panels come with a built-in charge controller. A charge controller is really important. What it does is it takes the electricity being generated by the solar panels, and it won't let you overcharge or overheat the batteries. It's a protective element, and it's absolutely necessary for using solar power. We didn't have to figure out which one we wanted. We didn't have to figure out whether it fit the panels or fit the batteries. It came as part of the package. The fourth reason we chose the Renogy solar suitcase is storage. Now you can see this thing is not small. 
and it's not particularly light either. It weighs about 35 pounds. But in our case, it's perfect. It's nice and slim, and we can just slide it right behind our sofa. It tucks it in there, and we never even know it's around, except when we need to take it out to use it. By the way, Renogy also makes a smaller 100-watt solar suitcase. And uh, if that's better for your needs, then uh, that's the one you should get. You need to stop and think about how much electricity you actually need to generate before you decide what size suitcase you need to buy. But the advantage of the 100 watt panels is that they're a lot smaller and they're a lot lighter and they're also less expensive. Speaking of cost, that is one of the factors in considering buying a pre-packaged solar suitcase. Uh, ours cost about $550 for these 200 watt panel suitcase and that's that's a, a lot of money you can get a 100 watt solar suitcase for about two hundred and fifty dollars at the time that I'm making this video you could build your own system for less than that you can buy the solar panels you can buy a charge controller you can make your own stand you can put it all together but frankly since I don't know that much about putting the systems together I didn't want to try to cobble my own make mistakes and end up perhaps costing me more than it would have otherwise the second criticism I have of the Renogy 200 watt solar suitcase is the cord that came with it. It comes shipped with a 10 foot cord. Well, the fact is 10 feet's not very long if, and it doesn't give you much flexibility about where you're going to put the solar panels in relationship to your coach. We tend to like to park in the shade. So if we're in the shade, anything within 10 feet of the RV is probably in the shade also. So we went out and bought a 30 foot extension cord so to speak a solar extension cord so that we can position the panels further away from the RV and therefore we have a lot more flexibility as to make sure that they get into the Sun the only problem we've had is that when we first started using the solar suitcase we kept blowing the little safety fuse down near the alligator clips that go into our batteries after the third fuse, I called their tech support, and I will say they were very quick to get back to me. They were very uh, helpful, and what we discovered was that they had shipped the wrong, uh, the wrong cable with our 200-watt suitcase. They'd shipped the cable that goes with the 100-watt suitcase. Now, in fact, the cables are identical. What's different is the 100-watt suitcase has a 10-amp fuse, and the 200-watt uh, suitcase has a 20-amp fuse. So basically all I had to do was swap out the fuses and now it works just fine. All in all, we recommend the Renogy Solar Suitcase. The 200 watt was the best product for us right now. For you, it might be the 100 watt. It might be something completely different. But you can find out how we made our decision in a lot more detail by going to our website, www.milesandsmiles.us slash solar suitcase. Here on the YouTube video, we really appreciate it if you give us a thumbs up if you liked the video. We uh, appreciate it if you would subscribe to our channel. And we really love it when you have comments and questions that you write down below. The fact is that the more people who interact with the video by giving a thumbs up, a thumbs down, subscribing, or uh, leaving comments, the more likely that YouTube is to show our videos to other people who are looking for similar content. So if you can do that for us, we would really, really appreciate it. I'm Jeff. Kathy's inside cooking what smells like a really, really good dinner for us tonight. And this is Miles and Smiles. Interested in solar panel? Today we're talking about portable solar panel. Interested in solar panel? Interested in portable? Are you interested? I cannot get this right when I start it the first time. This is going to go on a blooper reel.